Hello everyone, Steven here from Radolescence and welcome back to another fragrance review. And today I'm very happy to be sharing with you my thoughts on the very first concentrated perfume oil I've ever reviewed on my channel. This is a fragrance by Swiss Arabian and it's called Den El Oud Mubarak. So here's the bottle, this beautiful crystal bottle uh, was produced sometime between 2010 and 2013, although I don't know the exact year of production, nor do I know who the perfumer is for this company. Uh, but the company Swiss Arabian has been around since 1974, and I'm talking about Swiss Arabian Perfume Group. They've been around for the past 40 years. Now Swiss Arabian, the luxury subdivision that makes their fragrances, has been around for the past four years. or should I say their earliest release dates back to 2010. Their most recent release is just this year in 2014. So as the name of this fragrance implies, then El Oud Mubarak, uh, this is an Oud based uh, fragrance in a concentrated perfume oil. However, it's not a unilateral fragrance. It doesn't only contain Oud. It has some other nuances and facets in there that really make a very creative and a very rich composition. So I'm going to let you guys know what I think of this fragrance. Next up, let's take a look at the presentation. Here is a very sturdy box that Den El Oud Mubara comes in. You have the name of the company, the insignia, the logo down here at the bottom for Swiss Arabian. You flip it over, you have some more information about the company. I'll read that in just a little bit. UPC code at the bottom and some other pertinent information there. Now the flap does come off. Oh, also want to mention that it will originally come with this sleeve around it. I took it off for the purposes of this presentation segment. So this top portion comes off and it exposes the silhouette of the bottle carved into this foam padding and as you can imagine it rests in there uh, very comfortably and uh, on the inside you get this little booklet slash pamphlet thing that exposes all of these other fragrances that Swiss Arabian has to offer and they're front and back all different fragrances so it actually makes me really interested for this company to know what else they have to offer I definitely will be looking into their offerings so as far as the bottle goes, here it goes. It's such a beautiful crystal bottle. Um, you know, there's you know not much detail to it, but it's a nice little fancy bottle to have in your collection. Um, sticker at the bottom with some more relevant information. And just to kind of show you how this looks, when you do unscrew it, um, the oil comes um, right on there. And then from there, you can just dab it onto your skin. Um, most perfume oils have a similar shape to it and uh, just a few milliliters but a little bit goes a long way and that has been the presentation for Den El Oud Mubarak. Den El Oud Mubarak is a very interesting perfume oil and it's one of the few perfume oils in my collection. I initially uh, was caught by the beauty of the bottle and I knew I had to have it in my collection and when I bought it and applied it to skin what I got was this gorgeous aroma that takes oud and other assorted woods and it combines them and this has a variety of different woods. I think it has Laotian agarwood, it has um, I think uh, Cambodian and Indonesian agarwood so it contains a few different types of agarwood combines them into one fragrance and you have this woodsy nuance that doesn't smell off-putting or animalic or overbearing but it definitely has this exotic aroma to it that you don't get in other oud based fragrances especially uh, a lot of the designer ouds that have been surfacing in the industry lately or even some niche ouds that are harder to come by so you do have this noticeable woody facet to the composition but then you also have kind of like this dirty vetiver in the background now I know vetiver isn't listed as a note nor do I think this fragrance really has an official note breakdown other than ones that online fragrance forums purport it uh, to have but um, I think I definitely get a vetiver in here and that's because I would like to use a frame of reference this fragrance reminds me a lot of another one by Jovoy called private label and that one has a very dirty vetiver and I was able to tell by looking Looking at that note breakdown because they do contain a lot of similarities I'm only going to assume that this one also contains vetiver and it's a very dirty but grassy type as well but again it's overshadowed by the woods in the composition what I like about this fragrance is that there's a little bit of like a sweetness underneath it and this sweetness could be due to sugar or sugar cane and there's even an accord of dried fruits in here and 
the box also does list some ingredients, so I'll just take a moment to do that now because I didn't do it in the presentation segment. And it says that Den Oud Mubarak derived the rich extracts of Den Al Oud from Cambodia and Indonesia that encapsulate the aura of festivity and happiness. This enticing fragrance packed with lingering sweet, leathery, and woody notes is meant to illuminate your mood and keep you energized as you develop the warmth and sp spiritual bondness with your loved ones. I will definitely attest to the fact that this fragrance does contain a lot of leather. It's woodsy, oody, leathery with some vetiver and a sweetness underneath it all. Could very well be a little bit of vanilla in there too. The only last thing that I want to throw in there as far as the description of the smell goes in the opening, it does have a slightly mentholated feel as one reviewer on Fragrantica mentioned. Um, it has a very, very mild minty quality, but not a discernible mint like you know, spearmint or peppermint or even like a floral that comes across minty like geranium. It just has a very mild, unusual mentholated feel in the opening. And then it dries down to this leathery, woodsy combination that's just mature but sophisticated at the same time and a little bit of playfulness underneath it all too because of the sweet lingering aromas. So for me, it reminds me of somebody who can be, and it is a unisex fragrance, so either a man or a woman, who can be very sweet, you know, and very kind-hearted and warm and open, but they have a thick exterior, you know, and you have to get past that thick exterior to get to the heart of that person. Beautiful fragrance, really great perfume oil, great performance, happy to have it in my collection, beautiful presentation, and the smell is comparable. So thank you for watching. Last up, we have the rating. First up, we have uniqueness and overall smell, and I ended up giving Den El Oud Mubarak by Swiss Arabian an 8 out of 10. I think that this is a very unique smell, despite the fact that it does bear a lot of similarities to Private Label by Jovoy. But this is a very unique smell in the sense that it has a, a sweet undertone among all that, like, dirty oud characteristics. And the dirtiness is really brought forth by the vetiver, but you know what I mean. So it's a very unusual combination of notes, but it works in this fragrance. And it just really stands out. And it's one of those scents that I crave from time to time. Not all the time, but when I do, this one really helps helps me get my fix. Really unique scent. Performance could be a little bit better, but longevity is phenomenal. Uh, so for longevity, I ended up giving this fragrance a 9 out of 10. I do get 8 to 10 hours on my skin with this fragrance. Of course, if you're applying it to your wrists or your hands, just you know, make sure when you wash your hands that you do apply because it will come off. Um, I feel like that's one of the downfalls of this fragrance. So you know, just make sure that you put it on parts of your body that won't come in contact with water if you want to be able to smell it throughout the day. But excellent longevity. Perfume oils really have a reputation for lasting a long, long time on my skin. Could have potentially been a 10 out of 10 for them. Next up we have projection. Unfortunately, I had to give this fragrance a 4 out of 10. I feel like the projection with this fragrance is very poor and I believe that because it lacks the alcohol component, uh, the projection is compromised because the volatility just isn't there. It's the alcohol in fragrances that really allows it to evaporate and jump up off your skin, whereas in this fragrance it lasts very very long time but it doesn't project as much as I would want it to. I have worn it on skin on my wrists and on the back of my hand quite often when I was in the testing phases of this fragrance however it wasn't until I started to apply it on my neck that I finally started noticing it so unless you do wear a great amount of it on your neck maybe behind your ears only then will you be able to notice the fragrance if you're just wearing it on your wrists it's not unless you like gesticulate or you move your hands around that's the only time that people are really going to be able to notice that you're wearing a fragrance to begin with so projection is kind of poor on the poor side could be a lot better next up we have versatility I I ended up giving this one a 7 out of 10. Versatility is also compromised a little bit. I know it's uh, classified or marketed as a unisex fragrance. It has so much oud and wood and leather and, and spices and a dirtiness brought forth by like this grassy, mentholated component to it. It smells masculine to me, you know? I don't believe that, you know, fragrances have a gender, but if I were to, you know, say it would suit one gender more than another, I would say this leans masculine. So just keep that in mind. 
um, I think in terms of social scenarios because of the price and you know the type of fragrance that it is I would say this would work better for upscale scenarios suit and tie shirt and tie I just wouldn't wear this casually but maybe on a night out if you really know the person and you know that they're gonna like this kind of a smell you could probably pull it off on a night out in terms of seasons I think this would work best in the cold weather but you can also pull this off on a, a warmer spring day spring day because of the lack of projection so I think it would actually help it with the performance a little bit and I can see this one being worn by individuals age 30 and up last up we have presentation I think it's a beautiful crystal bottle and I, I just think it's a really nice fragrance to have in your collection but believe it or not um, they have some really beautiful bottles based out of the uh, United Arab Emirates and different parts of the world that do manufacture perfume or concentrated perfume oil products and some of the bottles actually look quite lovely and intricate and have a lot of detail so this is actually one of the more simplistic ones um, nevertheless I do think it looks nice I gave it a 7 out of 10 for presentation and overall I'm gonna give Den El Oud Mubarak by Swiss Arabian a 7 out of 10 I think that this is a nice fragrance and I think it's a very nice fragrance at that. I think it's um, a unique smell that's not going to appeal to everyone. I think if you're a fan of really dense ouds um, and that have a little bit of sweetness to them, you might actually like this fragrance a lot. But in terms of something that you can call your signature scent or something that you can wear on a very consistent basis, I really don't think this is it. I think Swiss Arabian has such a vast catalog of fragrances that I'm sure 80% of their fragrances might be more wearable than this one is. But this is a fragrance that I would make when I want to make a statement. You know, This is a statement maker and it will grab people's attention. So for that reason I do think that it fits its purpose and um, despite the lack of projection and the lack of versatility. I actually think this is a really nice fragrance, worthy of a 7 out of 10. It's definitely on the better side. So there you have it, guys. That was my review of Den Al Oud Mubarak by Swiss Arabian. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please let me know what you think by leaving a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to rate, subscribe, and share for future videos and frequent giveaways. So once again, thank you very much for watching. This has been Stephen with another fragrance review from Red Essence. See you soon.